Good afternoon. This is Mr. Arons from the University of the Free State Simulation Lab. Today I will be demonstrating you how to effectively bag and mask ventilate an unconscious adult patient. I will start off by identifying and preparing all the equipment that is required for performing of this procedure. I'll start off with the BVMR. BVM is a device which consists of a bag, valves, a mask, and a reservoir, hence the name BVMR. If assembled correctly, this device provides a one-way valve and flow of oxygen, 100% of oxygen, from the oxygen cylinder to the patient. An oropharyngeal airway, which is in short what we usually call is, as or what, what we usually call an OPA, a tongue depressor which we'll use in order to insert the OPA. A mannequin, which in this case is our patient. Oxygen cylinder that is full with a functional regulator and an oxygen tubing which basically supplies the BVM with oxygen. I will start off this procedure by opening the patient's airway, which can be done by either using a head tilt chin lift maneuver or a jaw thrust. Jaw thrust in the case where there's a, a suspected spinal cord injury, which in this case uh, is not applicable. Hence, I will proceed by using the head till chin lift maneuver. By doing a head till chin lift maneuver, I open the patient's airway. I now can assess the airway for any possible obstructions. I will then proceed by measuring my OPA. And that is done from the tip of the ear to the opening of the mouth as such. I will then use my tongue depressor to gently depress the tongue and insert my OPA accordingly. Once my OPA is inserted, my airway is now opened. With my regulator and flow rate set at 15 liters per minute, I will then apply the mask of the BVM to the patient by gently seating it over the bridge of the nose, making sure that I completely um, um, put it over the nose of the patient as well as the mouth. In order to ensure for a proper seal, I will then use the easy clamp technique, which is demonstrated accordingly, the C as well as the E, which goes according to the line of the mandible. I will then gently pull the jaw into the mask, creating a proper seal. From there on, I will then continue by giving effective ventilations at a rate of one breath every five to six seconds, with each ventilation lasting over approximately a second and obviously observing for chest rise. Chest rise is a clear indication that air is being delivered effectively. Demonstrated accordingly. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. There you have it. Effective bag and mask ventilation of an unconscious adult patient. For further instruction, please join me in the simulation lab for a practical demonstration and for practicing of this procedure. Until next time, goodbye.